Okay, so you have the keys, you have the phone number. You think the buzzer doesn't work, you know that. Uh, the Korean deli is across the street from the subway. It's open till midnight. Avoid the salad bar. When Nina met George, she found the roommate she was looking for. Nina's told me all about you. Nice to meet you. Hey, I feel better knowing somebody's keeping an eye out for my girl. The friendship she'd been searching for. We should go dancing. Well, I'm signing us up. Honestly, even when I was desperate to marry Sydney, I never carried on like you do. And a complication. I think that Nina and George have a great relationship. No one was ready for. Are you sleeping with her? Vince, I'm gay. You are? And it's a valid and wonderful choice. Who was the first person you ever slept with? Lucy Jane Parnell. You slept with a girl? I enjoy gay people. I just have a slight problem with my sister being in love with one of them. I am not in love with him. Whenever I call, you're doing mambo with your landlady. It's not healthy. Help! You're not offering her anything more than friendship. You know, why does everything have to be about sex with you? You can get close to a woman without sleeping with her. <laughs> Doesn't it all turn into friendship anyway? Yes, but normal people start out someplace you are never going to get. You're an extraordinary person. I don't think one should be too hard on oneself. If the object of one's affection returns the favor with less enthusiasm than one might have hoped. Sometimes, no relationship is more desirable. What about Vince? But he's not home to me. You are. No person more irresistible. I want you to be with me. I want you to love me the way that I love you. Than the one you can't have. I'm so sorry. But I don't, I don't want to lose you. Twentieth Century Fox presents Jennifer Aniston, Paul Rudd. To friendship. Yes. To friendship. to friendship. The object of my affection. Do you think most married couples are as happy as we are? I hope so.